In today's video, I'll be explaining the GTA 6 iceberg. This iceberg contains leaks, theories, and info about GTA 6 across seven tiers. Tier 1 is more common info that more people will know, whereas Tier 7 is info that only the most dedicated GTA 6 fans who have been following the game's development would know. Vice City. Vice City is the main place that GTA 6 will be set. February 4th. This is the date that Rockstar officially confirmed that development in the next Grand Theft Auto game was underway. They did this in a community update on both social media and the Rockstar Newswire. Female character. This is referring to Lucia, one of the main protagonists of the GTA 6 story. GTA Trilogy House. This refers to an image that is placed on the wall in one of the buildings in the GTA San Andreas Definitive Edition. This image is only in the remastered Definitive Edition versions of the game and is believed to be one of the first ever teasers for GTA 6. Six. GTA 6 fans tracked down this house and believe it to be a house in Miami, which of course GTA 6 will be set in Vice City, GTA's fictional version of Miami, Florida. Tom Henderson Leaks Back in 2021, a leaker named Tom Henderson uploaded this video to YouTube. In the video, he talks about a lot of things that we'll be seeing in GTA 6, including the city it's set in, the fact that we'll be getting a male and female protagonist, and was also the first person to report that GTA 6 would wouldn't be out until 2024 or 2025. Almost all of the information in this video has now been confirmed as true. r slash GTA 6. This is the official subreddit for GTA 6, and it's the main place where leaks and rumors first surface. GTA 6 is trending. This is a meme relating to the fact that anytime any sort of rumor or news about GTA 6 comes out, thousands of people rush to post on Twitter about it, which causes GTA 6 to trend. This has happened every few months for the past five or six years. The Housers. This refers to Sam and Dan Hauser, two brothers who are two of the co-founders of Rockstar Games. Sam Hauser is still the current lead at Rockstar Games where Dan Hauser left the company in early 2020. Jason Schreier. Jason has been one of the most reputable GTA 6 leakers over the years. He posted maybe the biggest GTA 6 article ever in 2020 and was the first person to ever say that we would be getting a female Latina character. Domain names registered. This refers to GTAVI.com which was first registered way back in 2006. This could also be referencing GTA6.com as well, which recently has been reported that Rockstar is trying to also take over this domain name, seeing as they currently don't legally have the rights to it. Tier 2 Project Americas. This name first surfaced way back in 2018 and it is the first known code name for GTA 6. It's rumored that Rockstar initially planned to have multiple cities in the game, spanning across both North and South America, hence the name Project Americas. But reportedly, that was a bit too big of a task for Rockstar, so they scaled the game back and decided on mainly featuring just Vice City. Blinding Lights. There have been hundreds of fake GTA 6 trailers over the years. But what's funny is most of these fake trailers featured the song Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. This happened so often that Blinding Lights became a meme within the GTA 6 community. I'm going back to Vice City. This is dialogue said by multiple pedestrians in GTA 5. It's a random event that happens most commonly when you steal a car from someone and throw them out of the car. The character will yell, I'm going back to Vice City. Laszlo. Laszlo Jones is one of the characters in GTA 5 and the character is based on himself. Laszlo featured in multiple GTA games, but unfortunately he left Rockstar in April of 2020 after working there for 20 years. Boss Man Fuck the World. This name first came about as a parody of the YouTuber Mr. Boss for the Win, who's been reporting on fake GTA 6 information for over seven years. The actual phrase Boss Man Fuck the World though came from Ned Luke, the actor for Michael DeSanta in GTA 5 on a live stream when he genuinely didn't know Mr. Boss for the Win's name. What, what was this? They said that GTA 6 is gonna be made in Vice City? How do these people get all this information on what's gonna be what? People, do you not understand? Do not believe anything that you see on the internet from, you know, uh, boss man, fuck the world or whatever his name is, or any of those guys. Don't listen to those guys. They have no inside information. They're just clickbait. And if you hear it from Rockstar, then you know. If you don't hear it from Rockstar, you don't know shit. 
development hell. This has been a common rumor for GTA 6 for several years. In 2020, Jason Schreier reported that Rockstar had undergone a massive culture shift, and he also reported that GTA 6 was still only in early development as of 2020. This suggested to many people that the game was in development hell after many of the higher-ups at Rockstar Games left the company around the same time. Grand Theft Auto Vice this is basically referring to GTA 6, but the first two letters in Vice, of course referencing Vice City, is the Roman numerals VI. Many people have theorized over the years that the game may not even be called GTA 6, it could be called GTA Vice. 1980s. This is an offset of the Project America's leak, when it was first rumored in 2018 that the game would actually be set in the 1980s. We now know that this isn't true, but it was pretty believable at the time. Skunk Ape. A skunk ape is a massive mythical creature that's similar to Bigfoot. This mythical creature apparently inhabits the forests around Florida, which is where GTA 6 will be set. We know from leaked game files that the skunk ape will actually be in GTA 6 as we can see it in those files. Tier 3. Teapot Uber Hacker. Teapot Uber Hacker was the individual behind the September 2022 GTA 6 leaks. This is the largest leak in gaming history, where the 17 year old who went by the name Teapot Uber Hacker hacked Uber one day, then moved on to Rockstar Games and leaked 90 game files and 55 minutes of development footage of GTA 6. RockstarCartel.com. This is a domain that's 21 years old now. This domain got updated in 2019. 19, which led a lot of people to believe that GTA 6 would be set in the 1980s during the rise of cartels across South America. Wife works at Rockstar. This references an apparent GTA 6 trailer leak on the GTA 6 subreddit where this quote unquote leaker listed what was going to be in the GTA 6 trailer. They reportedly obtained all of this info from their wife who had seen the trailer who apparently works at Rockstar Games. The VI Road. This could possibly be the very first ever legit teaser we got for GTA 6. In November of 2020, Rockstar released the very first teaser for the Cayo Perico heist. At the bottom of this trailer were some coordinates. These coordinates led you to a road in the middle of nowhere in Virginia. And this is the road here. People began to speculate that this was Rockstar teasing GTA 6 as you can somewhat easily make out a VI in the road the Tim McDowell map leak. This references a leak on 4chan from a user named Tim McDowell, who shared a picture of what was apparently gonna be GTA 6's version of Disneyland. Supposedly, it would be called Fred's Fun World, but this leak was quickly debunked. Synthwave Artist In August 2020, there was a report that Rockstar was apparently looking for Synthwave Artists for the GTA 6 soundtrack. This was reported by multiple news sites and still to this day has been unverified as to whether it's true or false. Jack o' Lantern Leak This references the Reddit user Jack o' Lantern 1982, who four years ago posted a massive thread on the GTA 6 subreddit. This leak was the previously mentioned Project America's leak, which is the more common name for this subject. Hobo will appear in GTA 6. This references a character named Jerry Kapowicz from Grand Theft Auto 4. Jerry is a homeless character in the game who, at the end of the Ballad of Gay Tony DLC, in the final cutscene of the DLC, Jerry finds diamonds in the trash, which makes him rich. We later found out that Jerry actually plans to move to Vice City and open a gun store, which leads many people to believe that we'll actually see him in GTA 6. Diesel News. Dumpster diving can make you a millionaire. You'd never believe what people throw out in the trash. That's what homeless Vietnam veteran Jerry Kapowitz thought when he found a pouch of diamonds in the city dump. Initial appraisals estimate the pouch of diamonds to be worth about $2 million. Mr. Kapowitz won't be homeless for much longer. He plans to use his new wealth to open a gun shop and liquor store in Vice City. City. Mike Whiteley, Weasel News.
Leslie Benzies locked outside. Leslie Benzies was the former president of Rockstar Games. He played a massive part in the production of GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2 and undoubtedly oversaw the beginning stages of the development of GTA 6. He took a sabbatical from Rockstar Games around 2016 and when he came back he found out that he had been locked out from his office. This led to him leaving the company and eventually suing Rockstar. Tier 4 the Gator Keys. The Gator Keys is the name of a region from GTA Vice City that was actually cut from the game. It never made it in. Logically, the Gator Keys would be Vice City's version of the Florida Keys in real life. So of course this has led many people to believe that the Gator Keys will finally be a location in GTA 6. Everywhere. This is the name of an upcoming game that was actually created by Leslie Benzies, who we spoke about earlier. For a very long time, people thought that this would be a GTA 6 competitor, but at least from the footage we've seen, it doesn't look like that'll be the case. Twitch bans. This refers to the fact that a bunch of fake Rockstar Games accounts have been banned from Twitch. This has been a series of ongoing scams where they say they can give you access to the GTA 6 beta, which obviously doesn't even exist publicly, and this resulted them from getting banned on Twitch. GTA 6 is already released. This is referring to one of the most popular GTA 6 videos of all time by the YouTuber Sonando. Sonando posted a video in February of 2017 claiming that he got GTA 6 early and even that he played the game early. So now it's an ongoing joke that the community says Sonando has been playing GTA 6 for six years. Brazil. This refers again to the project America's Leak, but specifically to rumors that were circulating around 2019, where certain leaks said that part of GTA 6 would be set in Brazil, while the other half would be set in Vice City. Finland. This actually refers to dialogue that will be in GTA 6. This was part of the December 2022 leaks, where we can see some NPC dialogue arguing about the death of Jay Norris in GTA 5. One character says, oh, he's dead, is he? Just like there's a country called Finland and a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Fortnite-like events. This refers to Rockstar's plans for GTA 6 Online that was first reported by Jason Schreier and Tom Henderson. It's heavily rumored that Rockstar plans to evolve the GTA 6 Online map with things like Fortnite-style events for many years after the game comes out. Tier 5 Quincy World. As we saw in the Fred's Fun World leak that is apparently supposed to be Disneyland in GTA 6, part of the theme park would be called Quincy World. But as we know, this leak has been debunked and is likely not true. GTA 6 was only announced due to backlash. The development of GTA 6, as we mentioned in Tier 1, was on February 4th of 2022. But many people believe that this was due to the backlash of the bad reception of the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition that launched at the end of 2021. At the start of 2022, following that release, community sentiment around Rockstar Games was probably at an all-time low, so people believe that Rockstar announced GTA 6 shortly after to restore people's faith in the company. Rockstar Equipment Stolen on Christmas Eve in 2020, someone broke into the Rockstar Toronto studios and destroyed over $66,000 worth of computer equipment. It was also rumored that this person stole some equipment, but I don't believe that has ever been confirmed. 1985. In 2018, a Twitter user named 1985 posted this screenshot. Even to this day, it's still believed that this could be the very first screenshot we've ever seen of GTA 6's map. But until we actually see the map ourselves, we can't confirm whether this is real or fake. Rockstar says relax. In June of 2023, some new clothing items were added into GTA Online. One of them was the t-shirt that says Rockstar says relax. This is a reference to a t-shirt that was in the TV show Friends, where it says Frankie says relax. The rabbit hole goes a bit deeper though, because this t-shirt is a reference to Frankie Goes to Hollywood and their song named Relax. 
which is a song that was released on October 24th, 1983. This caused people to speculate that the very first GTA 6 trailer would release on October 24th. Rockstar Dundee. This is one of the newer Rockstar Games studios that was acquired in 2020. This studio was previously named Ruffian Games and made games like Crackdown 2. People had many theories about this studio when it was acquired in 2020, some people saying they were helping with the development of GTA 6, whereas other people thought that they were taking over the development of GTA Online, while the main Rockstar Studios could continue working on 6. The Miami Scout. This refers to this image in 2019, where someone working in Miami claimed that someone working from Rockstar Games actually came to their place of work to take photos in order to create a realistic map for a new video game. This is pretty common practice for Rockstar Games as they've definitely done this for other video games like GTA 5, and this could actually be one of the only few real leaks we've seen. March 25. March 25, 2020 was one of the first real dates that people actually thought we would get a GTA 6 trailer. I'm not sure why this date was so popular, but it did get so big that even news outlets were reporting on it. Tier 6. GTA 6 leak debunking world record. This refers to a fake GTA 6 leak that used a bridge and a palm tree to try and fake a GTA 6 screenshot. However, this leak was debunked in just one hour, making it a world record for a GTA 6 leak debunking. The Preacher. This was someone who claimed to be a leaker around 2019 to 2022, who posted on the GTA forums speaking in riddles. He got some predictions wrong, but out of nowhere, he did say at the start of 2022 that the fifth week will be big. Then in the fifth week of 2022 on February 4, Rockstar officially announced the game. 2021 door. In GTA 5, down at Los Santos International Airport, you can see multiple doors, some of which say 2013, which of course is the year that GTA 5 came out, and we have other doors that say 2021. For eight years, people believed that this would be the release date of GTA 6. Trailer was meant to be in 2020. This kind of lines up with the 2021 door theory and states that the game was actually meant to be released around 2021, but for multiple reasons, whether it was the pandemic or a bunch of the higher ups at Rockstar Games leaving the studio and the game possibly being in development hell, that the game got pushed back a few years. e, &E is GTA 6. GTA 5 Expanded and Enhanced was announced in 2020, making it the fourth time Rockstar released the game once on the PS3 generation, later on PS4, then on PC, and then again on the PS5 generation. This made a lot of people believe that we would never get a GTA 6, and that expanded and enhanced GTA 5 is the closest thing we'll ever get. Picador. This is a car that has been in GTA before, but what's so interesting about it is in the September 2022 leaks, we saw Jason and Lucia, the two protagonists in GTA 6, get into a red Picador. What's interesting is on the minimap, this vehicle had the personal vehicle icon, which has led many people to believe that this is Jason's personal vehicle in GTA 6. Tier 7. Waning Gibbous. In early October, Rockstar posted this image on their newswire for the Moon Festival. This is believed to have been an official teaser for GTA 6. As we can see, the characters are covering most of the Vinewood sign except for the VI. But what's interesting about this is actually the Moon. This phase of the Moon is called a Waning Gibbous, and it was heavily speculated that the next time we got a Waning Gibbous that Rockstar would release a teaser for GTA 6. What gets even even more interesting though, is that Rockstar did actually announce the GTA 6 trailer when the moon was at a waning gibbous in December, on December 1st. Is this a coincidence, or was it actually a tease from Rockstar? 9, 10, 21. This was one of the only things on this list I couldn't really find any info on. But keeping in theme with other items on this list, I would assume that this was one of the predicted release dates for GTA 6, possibly lining up with the 2021 door theory, but that's just speculation. Great Car Steel 6. This has been an ongoing joke 
joke in the GTA fanbase. Going back to Red Dead Redemption 2, before that was announced, people were starting to call it Blue Alive Damnation. Of course, the opposite of Red Dead Redemption. People then created a Grand Theft Auto version. Grand Theft Auto, great car steal. I'm sure you can get the joke. And that's the GTA 6 iceberg explained. This took a lot of time to research, so if you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more stuff like this, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.